Hey y'all, it's Kylie Morgan and you are watching Celeb Secrets TV. Celeb Secrets is hanging out here backstage at CMA Fest and we have Kylie Morgan hanging out with us. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Are you like excited for the festival this week? I am so excited, but especially with not being here for three years, I'm just like, I missed everything about it. I know, I know. <laughs> yes. And a big deal for you, Nissan Stadium. Oh my God. It's, it's pretty surreal just because the last festival I played was three years ago mm -hmm. and I played the Spotlight stage mm -hmm. and then this year I'm playing Nissan. So it's like very... Uh, it's like, hey, those three years, we thank God for them, though, because we're back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you worked really hard, too, and it's really well-deserved. Thank you so much. It's been, Please. you know, it's been a journey, but that's what makes it even more sweet. Yeah. Are you, like, nervous to go out there, though? Because there's going to be, like, what, 30,000 people there? I mean, yes and no. I think that it's funny. I don't really get nervous at big crowds, but it's more with, like, um, with like industry shows I get nervous. So okay. if there's, like, a bunch of, like artists in the room or a bunch of like you know people that have been in the business forever that's when i get nervous but in front of like thirty thousand people i'm like hey what's up guys yeah. kylie <laughs> oh my gosh i love that now i know this is going to be an exciting time for you too because you just announced that the ep is coming yes and it's called ps ps yes i'm i'm so excited about this yeah. ep for multiple reasons but it's it's just such a like beautiful experience to like take fans through the journey of the music and of my life and mm -hmm. of these like very like things that are like big things that are happening at once and so for going from like the Love Kylie EP which truly was like a love letter from me to my fans each each um, pretty much song was a chapter in my life and so to be able to continue that book and be able to say things that I didn't get to say with those first six songs with this next EP I'm just excited to continue the story I was gonna say Love Kylie and P.S. Mm -hmm. You have more things to say. More things to say, a lot more. Okay, so <laughs> tell me what what are these things that you're saying what, what were you writing about? Uh, well it's 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 unreal because like so much has changed in one year, um, especially just like in my career and in my love life. I got engaged. I We're getting married in October and then it comes down to like even like if, when it comes to my career, it's like this big jump happened with my song Independent With You that started doing well. And then my next single, If He Wanted To, He Would, that's coming out. And it's just so cool to see the things that can happen in a year, but also to see like where you started and where Absolutely. you're at now. And Absolutely. so it's just a nice reminder to be like, OK, it's one foot in front of the other. We're moving forward and to be able to just take fans through that journey with the CP. And what would you say like you learned about yourself that you kind of like put in that music? So for me, obviously the pandemic was like, it sucked for everybody. Yeah. Um, and I don't know about you, but I feel like it only happened to me. Like everyone was like obviously doing it, but I just felt like I'm like, this is my pandemic, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so I just realized that like, I just realized how much I identified myself with my music career and mm -hmm. so I really wanted to take a step back and find more about myself that didn't include what I did yeah. um, because with music it's you know it's it's not it's not what you do it's who you are mm -hmm. and so to be able to not perform live and to be able to not like be in writers rooms and do what I love to do it allowed first of all my relationship to grow it allowed me and myself to grow like personally and now the music I feel like is finally showing that and instead of chasing something I feel like the music found me. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's like the perfect answer. Thank you. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Is there maybe like a message with this music that you're trying to portray? I mean, you're very vulnerable and open with your songwriting. Thank you. Curious. Absolutely. For me, um, and I've just kind of realized this over the years that I, I always turn to music and artists for different parts of my life, different mm -hmm. things happening in my life. And my goal is to have a song for every part of your life, whether you, it's a breakup song, a love song, roll your windows down, scream at the top of your lungs song, mad song. Like I want to be able to have a song that matches every emotion and every stage in someone's life. Oh, wow. I mean, that's great because then when you listen to the song, you remember... That part, and it's kind of like exactly. a yearbook, I guess you would say. I love that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> a good old year. Um, yes. yes. I, I'm going to use that. I'm stealing that. <laughs> I stole it from Mary Morris. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was asking her about her album, and she was like, oh, yeah, it's like a yearbook. Oh, my God. Like, I love right, your I'm honesty. I would have just taken the credit. I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, my gosh. Um, now, we are celeb secrets. Is there any maybe like secrets about the music that people wouldn't know like behind the scenes that went down? Hmm. Oh, so I have like some pretty crazy stories about two of the songs. Um, this song that I'm coming out with called If He Wanted To, He Would. Um, it's so funny how we ingest music now, right? Yeah. Like TikTok has been this like big thing of how everyone finds new music. Mm -hmm. And long story short about the song If He Wanted To, He Would, I heard the saying on TikTok and I was like, how has no one ever written that? And it like kept showing up on my news feed. And then this girl um, I actually saw on like my For You page and I was like, I'm a huge fan of this girl. I'm just going to go to her page. And I like saw how she wrote and like her 
lyrics and I was like, I want to write with this girl. So I'd never done this before. Okay. But I reached out to her and I was like, hey, um, I want to write with you. And I think that we could like write an amazing song together. So yeah. we got together. She was amazing. She heard about if he wanted to he would as well and I was like you know what we should write it so we brought her on with my guitarist and that was the first time we ever wrote and it's my first radio single and it was just like one of one <laughs> oh yeah gosh, it's insane awesome. so to be able to just find new people through these new ways of ingesting music and finding yeah. different collabs and just seeing those moments happen is pretty surreal yeah. now how are you planning the wedding releasing music playing with Jason Derulo and everything else that you have going on. I, how do you do it? Because I need tips. Um, to lots of yoga and sleep. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, it's it's an absolute whirlwind. But okay. honestly, I had two years of quarantine to save up all my energy. And I'm just like, I'm built for this. I love it. And everyone's like, oh, my God, are you not so tired? I'm like, yes, and it's great. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I love doing all the things and I love being all the places. And I'm just so thankful that it's all coming together and seeing the fans react to it and just having people you know have my music as something to lean on just makes yeah. me so happy yeah that's great well kylie those are my questions thanks so awesome. much thank you so much i'm so happy you got to come hang out with us oh today. me too thank you for having me no i appreciate and it have fun at nissan stadium that's all right i guess like, i will fun. Fun. <laughs> thank you <laughs>